Tomb, what the hell is that? Sounds like Firebrand torching my neighborhood. Uh, nope, nothing to see here. Oh, Doom, we're running out of time. If we don't master the remaining roster, Galactus is going to have us for lunch. Why don't you just call in that half-naked demon Dante? It's actually a pretty good idea. Dante's dealt with a lot of stuff like this before. Well, of course it's a good idea. That won't be necessary. Who's this golden ray of sunshine? Dude, it's Virgil. From Devil May Cry? Dante's half-brother? <laughs> Okay, well, he's half-demon, and not particularly fond of the human side, either. Well, at least you're not as stupid as your Renfair counterpart. Hey, don't be hitting, because everybody in your family went gray early! Enough talk. If you want to save this pathetic species, you're going to need my help. What's the catch? You're going to make me as good as Dante. Virgil might look similar to Dante, but you'll quickly find out that he plays much differently. Are you even trying? While having a mixture of similar moves, Virgil definitely has a unique playstyle with his long-range normals, effective combo-extending specials, very fast teleports, and some of the best mix-up options in the game. Virgil's mobility is extremely effective on the ground. He has somewhat of a slow walk speed, but his dashes and wave dashes combined with teleports make him an extreme threat. He's also got an effective wall jump, which is great for getting out of those corner situations. Spending one meter and going into the Devil Trigger will actually expand Virgil's mobility options even more. During this mode, he actually gets one of the fastest air dashes in the game and can be done extremely low to the ground. Virgil also becomes effective in controlling vertical space with his extremely powerful air grabs. Connect with one of these air grabs, then land to the ground. Press Fierce, and then Forward Fierce, and then teleport after that move to follow them to the wall. This allows for a full but heavily scaled combo. But here's where Virgil becomes extremely effective. You use his special moves to reset the combo and maximize damage. The first special move, and perhaps one of the best, is the Stinger. This move is very similar to Dante's and travels Virgil nearly full screen. It's excellent for combo extensions, you can special cancel out of it, and for maximizing damage after air throws like we just mentioned. And if you hit your opponent in the air with this move, it'll cause a wall bounce. Helmet Breaker is a jumping physical attack that's very similar to Dante's jumping special. What makes it useful is that you can cancel it into one of his three teleports by pressing light, medium, or heavy. It's also one of his best moves to end air combos. High Time is a lunging physical attack that goes straight up in the air. After inputting this move, you can immediately press heavy to teleport back down to the ground. Since this is Virgil's only off-the-ground move, it makes for excellent opportunities to set up for air throws afterwards. The next move is useful for combos, and it's called the Upper Slash. After connecting with a special attack on your opponent, you can actually press heavy to bring them back down to the ground. But since it takes up one of your ground bounces every time they hit the ground, this loop can only be performed twice, but leaves for great mix-up options afterwards. The Judgment Cut is one of Virgil's only projectiles. It's a multiple hitting orb that will appear on the screen depending on which attack you press. Hitting the opponent with a light Judgment Cut will actually give you a brief window of opportunity to combo afterwards as well. The Rising Sun is a double hitting Shoryuken style move and is excellent for extending combos. The reason being, you can press heavy to teleport back down to the ground after you input this motion and then follow up with a combo in the air. Lunar Phase is a multi-hit somersault attack that ends with a ground bounce. But unlike the Rising Sun, since this move hits multiple times, it will heavily scale your combos. The Rapid Slash is a very fast, full-screen horizontal attack and can be considered one of Virgil's best moves. You can't cancel this move with other normals or specials, but you can with hypers. Going into a hyper like the Devil Trigger can give you a free combo if you set up the opponent correctly. And of course, a lot of Virgil's effectiveness is going to revolve around his teleports. The light teleport tracks and puts you right in front of the opponent, the medium directly behind, and the heavy directly above. 
And as we were mentioning before, you can actually cancel several of his other specials into these teleports as well. And last but not least is the Round Trip, a boomerang sword projectile that returns to Virgil very similar to Trish. It takes about 2 seconds to charge this move by pressing any one of the attacks, and will track the opponent. Lock down your opponent with an assist, and then teleport behind this move for an extremely difficult mix-up. Dimension Slash is a multi-hitting full-screen hyper that most are going to call the Maximum Virgil. The damage output of this hyper is very decent considering how much of the space it covers. It's best to place this move during an air combo, or right after the off-the-ground version of High Rise. Multiple button presses will also extend the damage. Spiral Swords is perhaps Virgil's most unique hyper. Similar to Strider's Ouroboros, they hit the enemy upon contact if you get close to them. It doesn't last very long and can heavily scale your combo damage, but mixed up with the correct teleports, it can be very difficult to block this hyper. But Spiral Swords also has a few variations for the cost of an additional meter. Sword Storm will actually lock and track onto the opponent and then individually pierce after a given period of time. Blistering Swords repositions the weapons behind Virgil and allows you to use them as projectiles. Pressing attack and special during this mode will change the angle of which they fire. The Devil Trigger is a level 1 hyper that is also similar to Dante's. However, with Virgil, you do not get any additional special moves. The bonuses from using Virgil's Devil Trigger is that he recovers red health, has a speed boost, and does more damage. And like we mentioned before, he's also able to air dash during Devil Trigger, which is one of the best in the game. Because of these bonuses, combos that did not work normally can actually be performed in this mode. The Devil Trigger also unlocks the ability for Virgil to use his level 3, the Dark Angel. Rest in peace. Danger. You can only activate the Dark Angel while Devil Trigger is still active, making this technically a 4 meter eating hyper. But what it lacks in convenience, it makes up for in damage. This hyper activates anywhere close to Virgil and can also be hit off the ground, removing an unscaled 600,000 points of health from the opponent. And to top that off, they actually enter a crumple state after this move is finished and you can follow up for a further combo. Virgil's first assist is the medium version of Judgment Cut. It comes out fairly fast and retains its juggling properties, but is perhaps used best in conjunction with teleport mix-up characters. The Rapid Slash is Virgil's second assist and is my favorite of the three. It covers a huge portion of the horizontal screen and leaves the opponent in a juggle state afterwards. However, much like the special itself, it has no invincibility. And the last assist is the Rising Sun. Technically Virgil's Shoryuken, this move does not have a lot of invincibility and you have to be careful about this assist placement. Comboing with Virgil isn't as extravagant as Dante, but with proper setups, they can be very damaging. Here's a basic bread and butter ending with Dimension Slash after his off the ground. And here's one that starts with Rapid Slash, eating 5 meters for nearly 1.3 million damage. Might controls everything. As you can see, with a little bit of patience, Virgil can be a pretty devastating character. Ah, what good is a samurai sword against the five fingered lasers of doom? Only a fool trusts his life to technology. See how tough you are when Doom spanks you so hard, you'll go crying home to your mommy! I... My mother is dead, you disfigured half-wit. Way to go, Doom. Piss off a half-demon by bringing up jokes about his mom. Hey, if he can't handle the heat, then get out of Doom's kitchen! The problem is, he's in my kitchen now, so go do something to cheer him up. Why me? Okay, if you don't, then he can help himself to all the yogurt in the fridge. You wouldn't! Doom loves yogurt! Try me. Maybe not. 
it's people like you that make me want to destroy humanity. Oh, oh well, I, uh, hmm. oh. oh, how about a puppy? Uh, you know what you need? You need a friend. Someone with a positive attitude. Someone who has a sunny outlook on life. Someone like... Like Nova. Yeah, like Nova. Who the hell is Nova? You guys don't know Nova? I'll show you Nova. If you're looking for someone to brighten up your team, look no further than the power of the Nova Force. I'm like a whole Nova Corps all by myself. Nova's a heavy-hitting, straightforward character with a variety of playstyles. His movement and mobility might seem very familiar to that of Iron Man, but he's given some specific tools that make him very unique. Nova's mobility on the ground is fairly decent, but he gains most of his power when in the air. Having one of the fastest flight modes of the entire roster, Nova lends himself to being in the sky. He's got an 8-way air dash and several specials that allow him to cover a large portion of space. He also has several options for off-the-ground opportunities, and can easily follow up any one of his throws for an extended combo. But Nova's extended aerial mobility and combination of select specials are what make him effective. The Nova Slam is a ground-pounding overhead that also hits off the ground. This can be a great overhead for mid-combos with select assists, or placed right after a jumping special to hit off the ground and continue a combo. The light and medium versions of Gravimetric Pulse are short-range projectiles. The heavy one creates a barrier that will stay on screen and soak other projectiles. But Nova has a unique property with these moves. If Nova has around 10% of red health and you do one of these moves, the red health will be removed, but the moves themselves will be powered up in length and damage. If Nova has 30% red health, then it's even greater. But unless you're in a dire situation, removing all your red health to make these specials a little bit stronger is not the best idea. The Centurion Rushes are multiple physical rushing attacks. The light one hits off the ground and can be followed up for a combo. The medium can be an effective mix-up with select assists, and the fierce one is best placed in the middle of a combo as it ends with a launcher. The Nova Strike is also multiple physical rushing attacks. The light one causes a great amount of hit stun, the medium a wall bounce, and heavy will cause a crumple state. All of these moves can be done in the air and are best placed at the end of select air combos right before you put in the hyper. The Energy Javelin is a high angled projectile that will swoop down and track the opponent. The angle of each attack changes slightly, and if you hit an enemy in the air with an energy javelin, it causes a ground bounce. Combine these with the heavy gravimetric pulse, and it can be very difficult to get in on Nova. And of course, Nova's flight mode is one of the fastest in the game. It's great for extending air combos, but he can't normal cancel it like Magneto or Iron Man. Like a few other characters in the cast, Nova also shares three level 1 hypers. The Supernova is the most damaging and creates a huge energy ball. Multiple button presses greatly increase the damage, and this is probably the best one to put at the end of combos. The Human Rocket is a low damage rushing hyper. Pressing attacks and adjusting the motion will actually change the angle of which it dives. But the best thing about this hyper is that it's invincible to projectiles. However, physical attacks will knock Nova right out of this hyper. The Gravimetric Blaster is a full-screen beam that benefits from multiple button presses for boosted damage. But similar to the Gravimetric Pulse, this one can also be adjusted by red health. Here's the Gravimetric Blaster with 10% red health. And here's an example with 30% red health. Depending on how much red health you're willing to sacrifice, this is easily his most damaging move for the end of combos. Nova's first assist is the Medium Centurion Rush. If it connects with an airborne opponent, it causes a useful ground bounce for extending combos. The next is the medium version of Nova Strike and causes a wall bounce. And finally, the heavy version of Gravimetric Pulse. This one is my assist of choice for its projectile barrier capabilities, and it forces the opponent to jump if they want to get out. Nova's bread and butter combos can be very easy to pull off, but some of his more extended combos will require practice. Here's one that uses two versions of Centurion Rush and ends with Supernova. And here's another ending with a supercharged Gravimetric Blaster.
That was for Nova Corp. Well, now that you've seen all that, how do you feel now, Virgil? Ready to give humanity a second chance? No. Dante was way too good in Marvel 3. Maybe if people stopped looking up to him so much, I'd feel a little better. Well, Doom likes you better. You at least keep a shirt on. Really? I guess you're right. I still want to wipe out humanity, though. Doom, isn't there something you can do to help this poor guy out? Like, can't you snap him in about 40 more special moves or anything? Uh, oh, Doom's got it. Uh, here you go, buddy. Uh, have this here amulet. It's a good luck charm. This amulet belonged to my mother. With this, I can finally break the seal of Sparta. The gates of hell will be unleashed, and humanity will perish. Uh, yeah, you sure can, buddy. You do that. Farewell, mortals. You've just signed your own demise with this. <laughs> Doom, are you sure that was a good idea? Don't worry. Doom only gave him some art project from a few weeks ago. The real amulet is right here. Why do you even have such a thing? Uh, good question. Why does Doom have this piece of junk? Oh well. Wow, Doom. You might just be humanity's accidental savior. Of course Doom is! And as your new messiah, Doom commands that you go get more yogurt!